So anonymous mid-semester surveys, those can be a really great way to gather information about uh, what the people in your class are reacting well to, what they're not reacting well to, uh, what kind of adjustments you might want to make. Uh, if you want to make adjustments during the current semester and you want to gather information that might help you do that. Uh, anonymous mid-semester surveys, really, really great way to do that. And Blackboard actually has a really good built-in way of uh, creating and assigning these surveys. But it's not super easy to figure out how to do it the first several times, or I guess remember how to do it. So I want to do a little quick tutorial just to show everybody how it's it's done. So it's going to be under Course Tools, and you want to click on test surveys and pools and then you want to click on surveys so you enter in the name of the survey and then you can do a description and instructions When you're all set with that, just hit submit. And that'll take you to the survey canvases, which is where you can create your, your questions. And it's great because it gives you a lot of different types of questions you can create. Most of the time I just use multiple choice and short answer. So that's great a couple just to show you what that looks like. You can give each question its own title, or if you want to number them, that's how you would do it, is put the numbers up here. But the question text is the mandatory part, so. And again, you can number the answers to each multiple choice question. Um, do Roman numerals, Arabic numerals, letters, whatever the hell you want, or nothing. <laughs> can randomize the order of them. You can give them a ridiculous number of choices for multiple choice questions. <laughs> Probably far more than any person would actually want. Uh, it'll give you as few as four here, but actually if you only want like two or three, you can just put in a few answers and leave the other ones blank, and I think then it'll take those out, so. Let's see. Overrated, underrated. Overrated, underrated, properly rated. Or... All right, so when you're done with a question, if you want to create a, another question of the same kind, so in this case, if you want to create another multiple choice question, you can click on Submit and create another. If you want to create more questions, but you're not sure what kind the next question is, click on Submit, and that'll take you back to the survey canvas where you can add more questions. So let's say we want to do a short answer one now. Uh, What do you think would make for a cool informal writing prompt? So when you've got all the questions you wanted to assign, you're done, you're basically all set, okay, this is the survey I want. You click on okay in the bottom right hand corner here. Okay, so then the survey you just created will be in this menu of, of surveys you have that you can deploy whenever you want. Now, how do you deploy them? How do you actually put it somewhere where the students can access it and complete the survey? Well, to do that, you need to put it in a content menu. So let's say we want to put this in course materials. Let's click on assessments and click on survey. And it'll let you select the survey you want to deploy. Hit submit. And then it'll let you 
decide some things. If you want to edit the title or the description, do you want to show them the title and the description before they start it? Uh, open in a new window. Make it available to them. Send a new announcement. Do you want a timer? Do you want a due date? All that kind of stuff you can you can make up your mind about. And when you're all set with that, just hit submit. And now you can find the survey in your I didn't click on make available to students yet, so this one is still hidden, but when I want to make it available to them, I just uh, I just check this box, the yes. All right, so you're probably wondering, okay, that's how you make it available to the students, but how do you view the results when the results come in? How do you access? Uh, how do you see how many people have completed it? That kind of thing. Well, so for that kind of stuff, you'll actually want to go to Grade Center in the Course Management menu. And the key here is don't click on Assignments because that'll only show you Assignments. Uh, you want to click on Full Grade Center. And I'm not going to do that here because I don't want my students' names and grades to come up on the screen. But if you look at, so yeah, it'll come up in full grade center. And, you know, the green check mark will mean they've completed it. The blue pie thing will means it's in progress. And the dash just means they haven't done it yet. Now, here's the tricky thing that took me a while to figure out. When you want to look at the results, it gives you the option of download results. That might not be the best option because depending what you have installed on the computer you're on, it might be difficult to find something that will display them in a way that's easy to read. I think Notepad maybe. I kind of made them visible and readable, but it was still kind of yicky looking. If you go to attempt statistics, that'll actually give you a lot of the, the information you want, especially if you have like a short answer question. Um, so in this case, the question, is there anything of any kind I can do differently or any adjustments I can make to the course that would make it a better experience for you? It'll show you the number of unanswered responses. That is how many people have filled out the survey but haven't answered this question, which is zero, which is good. And it'll just list off all the answers people have given for that. And what it does for multiple choice questions, let's scroll down to a multiple choice. Um, it shows you what percentage clicked each option and what percentage didn't answer that question. So yeah, that's how you create a survey and look at the results. I hope this was a helpful tutorial.